now let us discuss about programmable logic devices in short we can call as yes, pld's first let let's see what is the use of uh, pld pld is an integrated circuit in short we can call as yes, ic that contains a large number of gates mainly pld contains two gates they are a large number of and gates and or gates so by using pld user can configure different functions so the major use of pld is we can perform various operations on the pld like we can perform addition of two numbers we can perform some swapping we can perform several mathematical operations with the help of pld now let us discuss about types of pld uh, pld's are mainly classified into three types the first one is prom prom stands for programmable read only memory second one is pal programmable array logic third one is pla pla stands for programmable logic array first let's see what is prom so programmable read only memory uh, he, it contains a fixed and gate array followed by a programmable or gate array so and gate array means we will have a collection of and gates or gate array means we will have a collection of or gates so initially inputs will be applied to fixed and gate array so here the and gate array is fixed it is not programmable this and gate array is internally implemented with the help of the decoder with the help of the decoder and that output will be supplied to the programmable or gate array or gate array collection collection these or gates are programmable so we can do some programming on the or gates so it will produce as the outputs now let's see the second one pal that is programmable array logic it is entirely opposite to programmable read only memory here the inputs will be applied to the programmable yeah it is ulta palta so we have to do the reversing reversing so here in place of fixed we will get the programmable it is entirely reverse so in place of fixed we will get the programmable in place of programmable we will get fixed so programmable and gate array so it, it, it contains uh, a, a programmable and gate array followed by fixed or gate array so inputs will be applied to the programmable and gate array that output will be passed to the fixed or gate array that fixed or gate array will produce as the outputs so here the and gate array is programmable so we can do some programming whereas or gate array is fixed it is not programmable so here pal is entirely reverse to the prom and the last one is pl pla 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 stands for programmable logic array so here we will have only programmable gates so here we will have only programmable gates programmable gates so it contains programmable and gate array followed by programmable or gate array now let us discuss about these three programmable logic devices with the help of an example now let us see the problem implement the following two table using pro pla and pal so here we have the two table so here the inputs are abc outputs are f1 and f2 we have three inputs so totally we will have 2 power 3 that is eight combinations the first one is zero in decimal number next one in decimal number last one is seven in decimal number so first let us implement with the help of the uh, p row so first let's see what is f1 here f1 equal to so here we have one in three cases so f1 equal to 1 when the inputs are 0 double 1 0 double 1 in decimal notation is 3 so sigma m of 3 so sigma means uh, here we have to represent the expression in uh, sum of products form next 1 when 101 so 101 means 4 to 1 so 5 next 1 when the inputs are triple 1 so 7 next f2 equal to 4 next 5 and 7 f2 equal to sigma m of 4 comma 5 comma 7 so in the examination two table may be given 
or some Hoffi adder or Fully adder or some number converter. So anything will be given. So the procedure is same for anything. So let us implement with the help of p -ROM. So we know what is p -ROM. So p -ROM means uh, we have uh, a fixed AND gate array followed by programmable OR gate array. So here fixed AND gate array is implemented with the help of the decoder. So here we have how many inputs? Three inputs such as ABC and how many outputs? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 8 outputs. So that's why we are using 3 by 8 decoder. So inputs are ABC, outputs are from Y0 to Y0 to Y0 to Y7. So we know about what is a decoder. So when the inputs are 3 0, then this Y0 will be active. Uh, when the inputs are 0, 0, 1, then this Y1 will be active. So here internally, this decoder is implemented with the help of AND gate array only. So here 0, 0 means AND gate will be performed on ABC. Uh, next, uh, so this is nothing but programmable AND gate, fixed AND gate array. So here the AND gate array is fixed. So we are not pro uh, doing any programming on the AND gates. Uh, now uh, here what is the expression? Uh, next, uh, after that we will require R gates. So here let us write a line like this. So this is nothing but R gate. So this line represents F1. Next to second one. For F2, we are using this R gate for F2. So this is F2. So what is the expression for F1? Sigma M of 3, comma 5, comma 7. So 3 means, so this 3. So we have to put cross mark here. Next to 5, next to 7. So now this F1 contains Sigma M of 3, 5, 7. Next F2 equal to 4, 5, 7. So we have to put a cross mark at 4, 5, 7. So now F2 equal to Sigma M of 4, 5, 7. So here R gates are programmable. So we are doing some programming here. Whereas AND gates are fixed. So this is about uh, p -ROM. Previously we have seen the truth table. So for the truth table the boolean functions are f1 equal to sigma m of 357, f2 equal to sigma m of 457. So for the same problem we are constructing PLA as well as PAL. So first let us simplify the boolean expression. So here we have three variables 357. So here the bigger value is 7. So 7 means three variable kind of map is enough. So one input is A, remaining two are BC. So 3, 5, 7. So this cell represents 3, 5, 7. So we can make these two cells as a pair. We can make these two cells as a pair. So if you observe this one, so 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is, this one is common. So 1 means C. So AC plus. Here A value is changing. So there is no need to consider A. Various BC values are 1, 1. So BC. So this is the Boolean expression for F1. So likewise simplify F2. 4, 5, 7. So 4, 5, 7. We can make these two as a group. These two as a group. So for the first one. So uh, value of A is 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. So first 0 is common. So that is B bar. A by A, B bar plus. For this pair, AC. Now let us implement with the help of the PLA. So for PLA, we have to construct PLA product table or PLA program or programming table. Here the table mainly contains three columns. The first column is product term, second column is input, third column is outputs. So if we observe here, AC, AC, AC is appearing tw twice. So this term is appearing twice. So we have to write only once. So AC. Whereas BC and AB bar are occurring only once. So let us write them. So here the inputs are ABC. If we observe the mean term AC. So here AC are appearing. So uh, here, uh, here we know about uh, sum of products. Actual variable means 1. Whereas complemented variable means 0. So AC means both are actual variables. So A is appearing, C is appearing. So we have to put 1. B is not appearing. So dash. Next one BC. So B is appearing, C is appearing. So we have to put one dash. Next A, B bar. A is actual variable. Whereas B bar means it is complemented variable. Here we are using sum of products. So we have to write 0. Whereas C is missing. So put dash. Next F1, F2. What is F1? A, C plus B, C. 
here F1, AC is appearing, BC is appearing. So put 1. Whereas AB bar is not appearing in F1, so we have to put dash. Next F2 means AB bar plus AC. So AC plus AB bar. Whereas BC is not appearing, so we have to put dash. Now let us construct PLA. PLA diagram. So this is PLA diagram. So this line represents A, this line represents B bar, A bar, next B, this line B bar, C and last line is C bar. This is PLA, PLA. So here what is the last uh, one? A, A, programmable logic array. So in PLA we will have programmable AND gate array followed by programmable OR gate array. So both the AND gates as well as OR gates can be programmable. So both gates are programmable. Okay. So here, uh, here totally we have three min terms are there. So this is uh, first min term product operation. So what is first one? AC. So we have to put cross mark at A as well as C. So this AND gate represents AC. Uh, next second AND gate means BC. So we have to put cross mark at B as well as C. So this AND gate means it produces BC. So third one AB bar. So this line represents A, this one B bar. So this AND gate produces AB bar. So here we are programming the AND gate. Next, next R gate. So for the R gate, we have to put two lines like this. So this R gate represents F1, this R gate represents F2. What is F1? F1 means sum of the first two min terms. So we have to put cross mark gate, the first as well as second one. What is F2? First one as well as third one sum. So this is first min term, this is third min term sum. So here we are programming the R gate. So both the AND gates are programmable as well as R gates are programmable. So this is PLA implementation. Next let us see about PAL implementation. Programmable array logic implementation. So what is PAL? What is PAL? It is entirely reverse to the programmable read only memory. What is programmable read only memory? We have fixed AND gate array. Whereas here we have programmable AND gate array. There we have after fixed AND gate array we have programmable OR gate array but here we will have fixed OR gate array. So let us see here this line A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar. Here AND gates can be programmable. So here we have to observe the maximum number of min terms in the boolean function. If we observe F1 we have only two min terms. If we observe F2 also we have two min terms. So that's why we have to take two AND gates for each boolean function. So two AND gates for this boolean function and two AND gates for this boolean function. Assumes that this boolean function has two more min terms. This boolean function has two more min terms. Whereas this boolean function has only two min terms. <coughs> now the maximum number of min terms in a boolean function are Assume F1 has 4, 4 min terms. Now we have to take 4 plus 4, that is 8 min terms. But here we have only 2 min terms in F1 as well as F2. So totally we have to take 4 AND gates. <coughs> so here the AND gates depends upon the min terms, maximum min terms in a Boolean expression. Suppose if F1 has 5 AND gates, whereas F2 has only 2 AND gates. <coughs> that means if F1 has 5 min terms, F2 has 2 min terms, then totally we have to take 10 AND gates. Totally we have to take 10 AND gates. But in this problem we have 2 plus 2. So the maximum number of min terms are 2. So we have to take 4 AND gates. What is this first AND gate? It represents AC. So this is A, this is C. So AND gates are programmable. What is second AND gate? BC. So this is B, this is C. So here we will write this uh, duplicate term also. <coughs> in PIL we have to write duplicate min term also. Whereas in PLA we will omit that duplicate min term. We have to write that min term only once. So what is the next one? AB bar. So this AND gate represents AB bar. So last one AC. So this AND gate represents AC. So here the AND gates are programmable. Whereas here R gates are not programmable here. So here the first R gate performs R operation on the first two AND gates. So that is AC plus BC. Second R gate on these two AND gates. 
So that is AB bar plus AC. So here the AND gates are programmable as well as OR gates are. OR gates are not programmable. They are, they are fixed. So this is about PAL. So this is about programmable logic devices. So likewise uh, you can solve any problem very very easily in the examination.